Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video I'll be showing you how to mine Dogecoin on any 2GB graphics card. Now you'll start off by clicking the GitHub link in the, my description below, and it'll bring you over to this page here. It's going to bring you to VertHash One Click Miner, and what this miner is, is for uh, graphics cards that are lower end, so like 2GB, there's even an option for integrated graphics cards for on your motherboard there. I haven't tried that option, obviously because I have my own graphics cards, like external ones. But I have one that is a GTX 760 that is only 2 gigabytes. So I figured to try this on it, ended up working, so I figured why not make a video on it. So yeah, anyways, you're going to come over to this page here. And once you're on this page, you want to go over to the right side on releases. And you want to click on the VertHash One Click Miner. And it's going to bring you to this page here. And you want to scroll down a little bit and it's going to give you all these different options. Now obviously if you're on Windows, choose the Windows 64 one. And then if you're on uh, Linux, you choose the Linux 64. So once you have it downloaded, I already have it downloaded here. Uh, you want to right click on it and with whatever extraction tool, so I have 7-zip. You click extract to and then the folder name. And then wait for it to extract. And then you'll see it there, just right below, just in the folder. And you'll see a .exe vert hash dash OCM. But before we click on and open that, you want to click the start menu and go over to settings. And once you're in the settings, you want to click update and security. And then once you're there, you want to click Windows security. And then once you're here, you want to click virus and threat protection. Because also in Google Chrome, this will pop up as like a virus or whatever. Because it's a minor, so it's not like uh, officially published by an actual company. So it's going to pick up as a virus just like any other miner. But once you're here, you want to click on Manage Settings under Virus and Threat Protection Settings. Now you could turn off the real-time protection, but obviously you want to keep it on for general use. So what you want to do is scroll down to Exclusions and click on Add or, Add or Remove Exclusion. And then once you're here, you want to click on this big button that says Add an Exclusion. And then you want to click Add a Folder. And what, this, what you want to do is go over to the VertHash folder wherever you have it downloaded. And you want to click on it and click select folder. And then you click yes on this setting there because it's going to pop up with the Windows security box. And that's all you have to do so that way you can keep the virus protection running while having the vertcoin uh, hash running. So once you add it as an exclusion to the uh, Windows security or your Windows uh, virus protection, you want to go back over to the folder where you downloaded vertcoin And you want to double click on it and open it up. And on first open, you're going to be welcomed with this screen. And you just want to type in a password, so I'm just going to do a quick test one here, just because I already have this running on another uh, mining machine, and this is my main desktop, so I don't really mine on it. But you want to click Start Mining, and it's just going to go through everything. And then this is going to take a little bit here. It's verifying and creating VertHash data file, so it's just info for your machine to be able to mine and run it. So let that run, and then I'll come back and show you guys what's going on all right so i'm back now and it's just finishing up at 99 percent here i figured just to start recording so you guys can fully see just what to do it's probably going to automatically start mining just like it is right here so what you want to do is just click stop mining right away it's easier just for setting it up and making sure all the settings are correct so at the top here you have your wallet which is your main dogecoin wallet it, you can send coins so you obviously send your doge and then now this is where we pay attention and t tweak some settings if you want. So uh, you can choose the Dogecoin wallet, but there's Vertcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Dash, Digibyte, Ethereum. There's a whole bunch. It goes on and on, right? So you can select whatever one. I'm obviously focusing on Dogecoin for this one. If you want, I can look at some other ones and show you guys how to do that. But if you don't have a graphics card, you can click on Mine on Integrated Graphics if possible only some can do it like I said I haven't tested or really looked into it or know if it's even possible but what you uh, another setting what you want to do is mining pool down in the bottom right hand corner here what I usually use is Z pool yeah there's a small fee but they have a great community great support and I'll show you like they have a discord and all that and I'll show you their website but once you click on the Z pool you change that there and then you just click save and restart and then I'll just click that and then it's just going to restart it. It's going to say verifying and stuff again, but it's going to quickly go through that and then it'll start mining just like that. So obviously I'm not going to expect anything. I'll just click it again so you can see the breakdown because this is just my main computer. I don't have any mining equipment set up, 
but as you see it shows your doge it shows the active pool and then it shows everything else but what you want to do is click view payout information yeah see right there obviously I like I said I don't have anything so what I'm gonna do actually is go over to where I'm mining with this on my mining computer and show you how it's all done alright guys so as you see here I have my miner uh, machine going and as you see at the top it has the spendable balance obviously nothing yet it has a pending pool payout so what I've mined so far so I've only had it going for the morning and then it shows what you're expected to earn so 0 0.80 doge which is not bad for a 2 gigabyte graphics card almost one doge a day so you gotta think right if you have a bunch of these old graphics cards sitting around and you set them up you could mine a few doge a day probably if you got the right settings because you can also do overclocking to your computer and everything so yeah, I'm just going to show you, uh, once you click the view payout information right here, it's going to bring you to the pool page, and I'll show you that on my other computer. So it's going to bring you to a page that looks like this. It's going to have the wallet address that the uh, Vert Hash Miner set up. And then what you're going to see down here might take a few minutes once it accepts some shares, is you're going to see your miner. You want to keep a lookout for that, because it's going to obviously show you all the info and making sure it's connected and everything. Sorry, I'm just trying to get a good focus. But as you see, it's the Vert Hash Miner. And it's doing the Doge. And difficulty. And the hash rate, 74.6. So obviously it's going to fluctuate because it depends on the pool. But yeah, overall, not bad for a 2 gigabyte graphics card. I'll just quickly show you uh, what the card is here. So literally, it's just my GTX 760. I don't know, it's hard to see, but... Right there, GeForce GTX 760. It's only 2 gigabyte, but like I said, almost a doge a day, so like 20 cents, 30 cents, whatever. And I don't mind because I'm not really using it, so why not set it up? And I have that one just doing some Litecoin. I'll make a video on this one. I literally just picked up a GTX 1650 for like $100, $200, 4 gigabyte. So now I've added some upgrades to my system. Like I said, guys, from my other video, you can slowly upgrade and add to your system, and it really makes a difference. So yeah, overall, not too bad. Like I said, once you get it going, it'll take a little bit, probably, like, it sometimes takes about 15 minutes or so for each share to be calculated on the pool. Like, I've only had one, but obviously I've been mining more, because you can see right here, it's all been going up and down. Everything's being accepted in the pool, all my hash rate and everything, and... Like I said too, if you need any help with anything with the pool, you go up to the top right corner here, and there's their Discord. You just click on that and join that. They're really supportive and really like helpful with everything. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any more questions, feel free to comment below, or if you want to know how to mine so something certain, let me know and I can make a tutorial on that, hopefully as best as I can. But anyways, I hope you guys have an awesome day, and this is Krebsy Crypto, signing out.